well, I always liked art classes, and I, I, in grade school, we had an art teacher come in three times a week, and we'd sit in our regular uh, grade school chairs, you know, it wasn't an art room or anything, and do stuff under her direction. And I just adored that class, and could hardly wait for it to happen. We maybe had it three times a week for an hour or so, and I could hardly wait for those three times a week. I was in seventh grade and there was an airplane contest and I was the only girl in the airplane contest and I won first place. We had an old bamboo pole that we split and got the wood from. And then we used rice paper, which we bought by the sheet, and um, we bought glue, of course, to fasten the parts. I, I was the only girl in the manual training class at Hartford Avenue grade school. Uh, so I really, instead of sewing, I love sewing, but I, I, I love manual training better, so, so that's what I ended up with. Then I went to five years to the Chicago Art Institute, and that's where my life drawing evolved, and that's where the figures for, for a watercolor like that came. Dad bought a um, a collapsible cottage out in Pewaukee, and he had a truck bring it in. And, and uh, the sides were all, you know, uh, bolted together. And it had two porches on it, and, and a room in the center. And um, and we came out for weekends. That was the beginning. And then we just graduated. Then we had. Then we came out for summers, and then we came out for all year and had a foundation. The gate posts were major in cement. Dad and I built those gate posts with a little f frame that was about like this and about so high. And we kept moving the frame up until it was six feet high. The stones came from the beach. Uh, our beach changes. Sometimes we have a real sandy beach, and other times we have a, a beautiful stones that have been kicked around in Lake Michigan and rounded in, in gorgeous shapes uh, that you sort out and take, take the best ones. Well, there's either cement work or wood, things out of planks of wood, or the colored glass came from, those. that's old pieces from church windows where they made church windows. They, for 50 cents, they'd give me a box this big full of all kinds of little scraps and big scraps, wonderful scraps, each each of which I could use.
used a tennis ball and, and uh, pushed it into wet sand, and so it gave me a, a shape uh, to pour cement in. And so that's half a tennis ball, actually. Yeah, I just took whatever was cheapest near nearby and available for the for the thing I wanted to do. That that is cable. You know, a cable is made up maybe a half inch cable is made up of ten or fifteen strands of softer wire all wound together. And it's an electric cable usually. Or a cable for strength, you know. And that, that was unwound cable, so it's very small strands. I, I never liked buying stuff, so I always made what I could out of what I had around. This is uh, old rope, you know, with strands of, of, of uh, 
you see the thickness of the, the rope was maybe an inch rope and we used for holding ships and in, in, you know in stalls or, or big heavy stuff and this is white carpet thread This, this was the type of pottery I made over, uh, I had a, dad built me a, a, a pottery building on, on Green Bay Road. I never, I never threw anything away, you know. If I started doing one thing and it didn't look quite that, that way, I'd make it into something plausible for, for looking another way. Each piece was my favorite when I was doing it. 